Today, we're exploring one of the most fascinating topics in biology extremophiles. These incredible organisms defy the odds by thriving in the harshest conditions on Earth. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future explorations into the amazing world of science. Now, let's embark on this extraordinary journey. Extremophiles are organisms that don't just survive, but actually thrive in conditions that would be lethal to most other forms of life. These include extreme heat, extreme cold, high levels of radiation, intense pressure, and highly acidic or alkaline environments. They are found in some of the most inhospitable places on our planet, from the boiling hot springs of Yellowstone to the frozen wastelands of Antarctica, from the crushing depths of ocean trenches to the dry deserts where rain is a rare visitor. Extremophiles challenge our understanding of life's adaptability. These organisms have evolved a fascinating array of adaptations that allow them to not just endure, but excel in their extreme habitats. For instance, thermophiles in hot springs have proteins and DNA that don't denature at high temperatures, while psychrophiles in icy environments produce antifreeze proteins to prevent their cells from freezing. Understanding these adaptations is like unlocking a biological treasure trove. It provides us with insights into the very limits of life's capabilities and opens up possibilities for their applications in science and industry. The existence of extremophiles has forced scientists to rethink what it means for a planet or moon to be habitable. This has huge implications for astrobiology, the study of life in the universe. If life can thrive in the extreme environments of Earth, it raises the exciting possibility that similar forms of life might exist elsewhere in our solar system and beyond. Imagine microorganisms living in the acidic clouds of Venus or in the subsurface oceans of Jupiter's moon Europa. Studying extremophiles also gives us a window into the past, offering clues about the conditions on early Earth. The extreme environments where extremophiles live today may closely resemble those that prevailed on our planet billions of years ago. By understanding how these organisms survive, we gain insights into the survival strategies of the earliest life forms and their evolutionary journey. This not only helps us piece together the story of life on Earth, but also guides our search for life on other planets by showing us what to look for. The study of extremophiles isn't just about satisfying our curiosity. These organisms are a goldmine for biotechnology. Their unique enzymes and biochemical compounds, stable under extreme conditions, have a wide range of applications. From pharmaceuticals to bioremediation to industrial processes, extremophiles are revolutionizing multiple fields. Imagine cleaning up oil spills with bacteria that eat hydrocarbons or developing new medicines from the unique compounds found in these resilient organisms. The potential is truly enormous. The adaptations of extremophiles have profound implications for the search for extraterrestrial life. Their existence expands the types of environments where we might expect to find life beyond Earth. This informs the targets of space missions and the design of instruments for detecting life. When we look for life on Mars, Titan, or Enceladus, we are using the knowledge gained from extremophiles on Earth as a guide. Each discovery of extremophiles on Earth broadens our horizon of where and how life could exist in the cosmos, fueling our imagination and scientific endeavors. Finally, extremophiles give us valuable insights into evolution under extreme conditions. They represent some of the most ancient lineages of life on Earth and their unique characteristics offer clues about how life's basic mechanisms can be adapted to different environmental stresses. By studying these remarkable organisms, we gain a deeper understanding of the resilience and inventiveness of life, revealing new chapters in the evolutionary story of our planet. As we conclude our journey into the world of extremophiles, we're reminded of the incredible diversity and resilience of life. These organisms are not just survivors, they are pioneers, leading us to rethink our concepts of life and its possibilities. They inspire us to look beyond our planet and imagine what forms of life might exist in the far reaches of the universe. 
Thank you for joining us on this fascinating exploration. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below. What extremophile did you find most fascinating? Are there other topics you'd like us to explore? Let us know. Subscribe for more content, and until next time, keep wondering and wandering.